Hello and welcome to Short of Sir's classes. In this video, we will be going over De Gua's rule for finding imaginary roots. So, what does the rule state? Let's just begin with that. The theorem states if R consecutive, R consecutive, note this terms are absent are absent in fx equal to 0 1 postulate number 1 there are at least r imaginary roots where r is even and number two number two and where r is odd there are are at least r plus one or r minus one imaginary roots according as according as the terms between which r terms are absent has like or unlike signs let's look at an application all right the question demands if fx equals x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power n minus 2 plus a n if a r is 0 and a r plus 1 into a r minus 1 is greater than 0 prove fx equals to 0 has no more than n minus 2 real roots real roots so quite a big question so the answer let's begin since a r is 0 since a r is 0 f x equal to 0 is an incomplete equation incomplete equation the coefficients of the terms preceding and succeeding the coefficient the coefficient of the terms preceding or succeeding the vanishing term the vanishing let's just push this up term r a r minus 1 and a r plus 1 to satisfy the condition now we have the condition a r plus 1 into a r minus 1 is greater than 0 yes hold on is greater than 0 and both of them will be positive or negative 
this means either both will be positive or both will be negative now by degas rule by degas rule we have the equation equation fx equal to 0 must have have at least two imaginary roots since we have one root and because one missing term equal to one imaginary root and this cannot exist independently so this must be two in number and hence we arrive at the result. Thanks for watching.